Hi crafters, today we're going to be making a rosette bird. I've put a piece of string on mine so I could hang it up at the window if I wanted to. It's very simple to make. All you need is two pieces of paper folded in half lengthways. Okay, then you will end up with three, four pieces like this, but you'll only need three of them. Then you need to start folding them into a fan shape all the way along <coughs> to the end like this and go all the way do all three like that and you'll end up with three pieces of paper that look like that then you need to fold them in half and glue them together Stick one, do the same. Stick two. And stick one of those together. Like that. Okay. Give it a squeeze. And then your last one, exactly the same, fold down the middle, put the glue on, fold it tight, then you need glue on one side, so you're going to attach that all together now, <coughs> on there, give that a squeeze. And then you need to put glue on one of the other sides. Put plenty on because it does like to spring open. Pinch those together like that. And then you've got your rosette shape. Now with mine, I did, I used green card, just some scraps that I had. If you haven't got any green card, you can use whatever colour you want. Or you could use um, you could use white paper and just colour it in or paint it. I just cut out a teardrop shape, just out of some scrap. You might want to use a magazine. You might find something in there that's quite colourful. That can look quite effective. I did a triangle for its beak, just a round circle out of white paper again with a black dot using felt tip for its eye, and then again a piece of scrap and just made its tail and stuck it on the back there. I had a piece of string that I attached inside there. All you, all you need to do is put it inside the one of the, the zigzags and give it a squeeze nice and tight and then you've got it to hang up if you want to. Okay. Now I've also did a Angry Bird. I had some blue card. You don't have to do it blue. The Angry Birds are um, lots of different colours. Um, you can paint a piece of white paper if you want to, if you haven't got a piece of blue, red, whatever colour card. I didn't have any black or yellow cards, so I, tr I um, drew the triangles and the eyebrows and coloured those in. And then just stuck them on. It looks quite effective if you want to use a magazine, especially for the bird, because um, it almost looks like different coloured feathers. So again, I used three pieces of paper, uh, made them into a fan, stuck them all together. Now you could put these, you don't have to have them on a piece of string, you might want to stick them on a stick. Um, you could have them then in a jar or something, or you can use them to wave around, whatever you want to do with them. So they're nice and easy, but look really effective. You can do any design on the front. You might just want to put a picture on the front. You might have a, a picture that you've drawn, and then you can stick that on the front of it. You don't have to make it into something. It can just be used as a background. So I think they look really quite effective so have a go have a look what you've got at home any pieces of scrap paper like i said this was out of a magazine you could use newspaper this is the white paper that you use um, in a printer or what you want you do your drawings on you could use piece of wool piece of ribbon anything you've got laying around really any pieces of scrap so give it a go love to see them happy crafting